Oscar. So my okay, this is Oscar, and he was at the Poway shooter shooting, and he's the one who rushed the shooter, so that the guy ran away. So I'm here at the White House with him, and he's telling me his story. So he just spoke in front of the president. So what happened was, so the, the story starts on the second seder. I was uh, I was reading from the Haggadah. I was reading Hallel, and when I got to the Tehillim, that's at 118, that says that God will protect us no matter what enemies are around us, I started to cry at the Seder. My wife asked, why, why are you crying? I said, I don't know, I don't know. So then, you know, Naomi comes to Shabbos again, and I'm at the shul, and I normally sit in the front row on the left side. Well, this day, I got up, and I went to the back of the shul, right before the Kriya. So they're midway through the Torah reading, and I hear the gunshots ring out. I, I get up, and this is what I, consciously, I got up and I was gonna run. So I ran like two steps, I turned around, and I went back to where the shooting was. Um, as I, my wife says, as I ran by her, she was in the ladies section, she saw my, my talus floating in the air behind me. It wasn't on me anymore, it was just floating in the air as I, as I, as I ran by. As soon as I go through the door, I see him, he, he shoots twice, and I yelled out, you know, I yelled out <laughs> profanity, but I yelled out, and he looked at me, and he looked like he was afraid, very, very, he was very afraid when he saw my face. He drops the weapon, and he turns around, and he starts to run. So Is I, he wearing sunglasses or not sunglasses? No, when I saw him, he wasn't wearing glasses at all. Uh -huh, so when Rabbi Goldstein saw him, he, would he was wearing, wearing glasses. Someone yeah. threw a chair at him. Oh, so he must have dropped the glasses. He must have dropped the glasses. Okay. So I'm chasing him into the parking lot, and I'm trying to keep my distance so he doesn't get he doesn't get too far from me because then he can deploy his weapon against me. So I'm chasing him as he gets to his car. He gets in the car. He raises his weapon to, sh to shoot as if he's going to shoot. I hit the car with, and my hand didn't even hurt. I don't know, I, but I hit it so hard that it scared him enough. He dropped the weapon and he started the car and he was trying to leave. At that moment, Jordan came. Uh, Jordan, I'm sorry. Jonathan co comes and says, "Clear back. Get back. I have a gun." So I fall back, and he shoots into the car, and then that, he sped off. We got the license plate number. So basically, because you yelled at him, he got scared. He got scared, And he yeah. turned around and ran, even and though ran. you said to me before, how much ammunition did he have on him? He had, he had at least five round, five magazines, which, which they say, I believe, were ten-round magazines in his vest, his load-carrying vest, and he had a magazine in the rifle. So wow. he had six, six, 60 so rounds of ammunition. When you yelled he at came him. with 60 rounds of ammunition. He only fired ten. So when something happened when you yelled at him, it got him scared yes. for whatever reason. So I, I believe that when on Halal, when I was crying, Hashem yeah. was telling my soul that I'm going to protect you. Right, that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. When I confronted him, he didn't see me. He saw an angel behind me. Right. And what made me, I, you know, in retrospect, I think about this because I think of Bilaam, the story of Bilaam, where Bilaam is riding his donkey to curse the Jewish people, and the donkey sees the angels. But Bilaam doesn't. He doesn't see the angels, right. And he gets off and he hits the angel, the donkey, and the donkey tells him, what, what are you doing? So that, he wasn't, and what made me think about this is when Howard Kay gave the sermon, he said that he's beneath an animal. This man is beneath an animal. He's not even an animal. And that's why he, that's what he saw. He didn't see me. He saw an angel coming right. behind me. So you feel like that when your wife saw the talus floating, that there was an, there was an angel there. There was an angel there. Well, then you're very blessed. You're very, very, very blessed. You know, and... Thank you. So, yes, we just we just moved to Poway six months ago. Six before that, we... And when I met, when the first day that I that I, that I become a member of the shul, I met him, actually, before we went, become, before we came to the shul, and he said, you were meant to be here for a reason. Huh. Thank you so much.